Black holes are some of the most mysterious yet powerful celestial bodies in all of the cosmos. What keeps them so unknown is their relative inability to be directly observed, as not even light can escape the event horizon of a black hole. Despite this, scientists have marveled at these enigmas of outer space for decades, yearning to learn as much as possible regarding one of nature's most destructive forces. For the most part, these studies and research have allowed astronomers to see through the darkness and uncover mind-blowing information regarding space and time, the death of stars and galaxies, and the entire universe at large. To summarize some of these incredible findings, here are 10 of the most fascinating facts we currently know about black holes. The first black hole to ever be discovered was Cygnus X1, detected in 1964 after a sounding rocket was launched from the White Sands Missile Range from the White Sands National Park in New Mexico. The rocket was equipped with X-ray instruments, as celestial X-ray sources are not detectable through Earth's atmosphere. Over the next few years, astronomers attempted to decipher what could be creating such luminescent X-ray outburst from a body that was measured to be greater than any star previously measured on record. When the understanding of black holes revolutionized in the 1980s, it became quite clear that the X-ray source in the constellation Cygnus could only be a black hole. Interestingly enough, one of the leading scientists in all of physics, Stephen Hawking, once wagered with fellow physicist Kip Thorne in 1975 that Cygnus X1 would be one day revealed as something other than a black hole. He conceded this wager 15 years later when indirect evidence all but confirmed the presence of a black hole. It's now known that Cygnus X1 has a mass just over 21 times the mass of the Sun. Since the first discovery in the 1960s, black holes have been separated into three different types of black holes, all ranging in size and behaviour. The first type is a stellar black hole, a simple black hole born from the collapse of a large star that has run out of fuel. These black holes slowly grow in size as they absorb matter from the collapsed star's accretion disk. The second type is a supermassive black hole, which is born either from a smaller black hole running into a massive gas cloud, or thousands of minuscule black holes coming together to form one large black hole. It's also thought star clusters can collapse to create one supermassive black hole. The third type is an intermediate black hole, a recent discovery of medium-sized black holes that sit somewhere in the range of stellar and supermassive sizes. These are the most rare types of black holes. While there is no concrete proof to suggest a fourth type of black hole exists, astronomers and space historians have concluded there was most likely a different type of black hole back in the first few years after the Big Bang. These types of black holes are called primordial black holes, created from the interaction of unknown energy particles. NASA has spoken about primordial black holes themselves, declaring these theoretical bodies to act more like dark matter than the modern-day interpretation of black holes. Dark matter is also a hypothetical substance, but is thought to make up around 85% of the entire observable universe. This is due to the theories of gravity being unable to explain gravitational effects from around the cosmos, meaning there must be a fourth type of matter we cannot see. Many folks believe there are only a few black holes dotted across the universe, and that they are rarely formed due to being so destructive yet mysterious. However, that is actually not the case. It's important to remember just how inconceivably massive the known universe is, making the possibilities nearly endless to how many celestial bodies actually exist beyond the night sky. 
For better context, think about how the Milky Way galaxy is just one of at least 100 billion galaxies in space. And in just the Milky Way galaxy, there are anywhere from 10 million to 1 billion stellar mass black holes, with the supermassive black hole at its centre. Multiply 100 billion with 1 billion as a safe estimate, and you're already at a number too large to even count. And that's assuming other galaxies don't contain more than 1 billion stellar mass black holes. Due to black holes' direct relationship with gravity, relativity, and the laws of physics at large, there is a common misconception that Albert Einstein was the one who discovered the idea of black holes, or at least coined the term. In reality, it was only Einstein's calculations that led to the discovery of black holes, however he was not part of that discovery team. The real man to originate these connections was physicist Karl Schwarzschild, who used the theory of relativity in 1915 to explain how black holes might form and what those creations would look like. These findings were evolved from philosopher John Michel's prediction in 1783, who wrote that the universe might contain dark stars of mass so great that not even light could escape its gravity. The phrase black hole wasn't actually coined until 1967 by American physicist John A. Wheeler. One of the most mind-boggling facts about black holes is their supposed ability to slow down time and possibly even stop it. Like many facets of a black hole, this is due to their near-infinite gravity and the way it breaks the laws of physics. The most frequently used example to explain this phenomenon is the twins' experiment. In this process, one twin is sent into space on a rocket at the speed of light, while the second twin remains on Earth. When the travelling twin returns, they will be much younger than the one that remained on Earth. This abides by the thought that the faster one moves, the slower time actually passes for them. Another experiment places one twin at the top of the tallest mountain on Earth, and the other in the lowest valley on Earth. After 100 years, the twin in the valley will actually be a little younger than the twin on the mountain due to being positioned closer to the gravitational source. Thus combining these two experiments with how fast matter is sucked through a black hole with near-infinite gravity at the source, objects currently in a black hole could be considered the youngest objects in all of the universe, surviving billions of Earth years but only seconds in their real time. Everyone wants to think of black holes as potential wormholes into other dimensions parallel universes, or time machines going backward or forward through time. The reality is, we don't know enough to say it's possible, or impossible, for wormholes to exist within black holes, however that also leaves open the opportunity for them to exist in some way. Regardless, with their destructive nature, it is more than likely a human entering a black hole and surviving to tell the tale is all but a dream. All that being said, scientists are hopeful in discovering one day the potential for black holes to spawn entirely new universes. This line of thinking comes from the fact that the creation of our universe, most likely through the Big Bang, followed such a perfect set of circumstances that if you were to change one tiny thing, we wouldn't exist. Since the Big Bang is thought to have started from a singularity, much like the singularity at the centre of a black hole, Breaking the laws of physics beyond understanding, it's possible these singularities could spawn new universes. Unfortunately, finding out when these instances happen is impossible, as looking through a black hole isn't feasible, but it does make one wonder how many other universes are out there, and how many came before us. Black holes are also unique in that they theoretically could grow forever without an end in sight. Currently it is believed black holes cannot grow larger than 10 billion solar masses, as this would normally disrupt or destroy the accretion disk that feeds black holes. There's also the matter of Hawking radiation, 
which disperses the material making up a black hole, slowly throughout the surrounding space until the black hole is technically dead. The final, and probably the most, tragic fact about black holes is that we will never be able to physically observe one, barring some sort of miraculous technological advancements within our lifetime. Black holes are technically invisible, as they trap all light and can only be spotted by the radiation bursts given off by the burning of their accretion disks. That's why the photos you see of black holes aren't actually photos of black holes, but rather the light given off around them. While we might never lay eyes on a black hole, at least we have boundless research allowing our minds to ponder a black hole's purpose in our universe, and the information we might someday learn when their ultimate mystery is finally solved.